question. So this is easy. Um, you just, you know, uh, when you eventually let they get to your desk and you start working, um, pay attention to when your energy dips. So physically, you're gonna, your body's gonna give you signs, right? You're either gonna start yawning, you're gonna get tired, you're gonna get irritable. Uh, maybe your focus is actually, uh, you're having difficulty focusing and concentrating. So that's your body sending you signals. And at that point, instead of pushing it through it, or as I was saying, grabbing you know, sugar or coffee to, um, to artificially push through it, get up and uh, move around, do something with movement, uh, breathe, stretch, in order to uh, boot, you know, in or the, what you're trying to do is you're trying to rejuvenate your energy so that you could come back and do another sprint. So your body, just pay attention to your body. Your body will tell you. It will, it will tell you when it's tired. Um, and that's when you want to actually naturally stop for a break. I would say that some people will set an alarm um but that actually might throw you off so in other words let's say you're in the middle of something you're really great focus and the alarm goes off i don't think you need to stop in order to you know um in order to rejuvenate finish what you're doing and then take a break so make it natural it doesn't have to necessarily be 90 to 120 minutes but you know the idea is you don't want to be sitting you don't want to be sitting for eight hours a day straight or for four hours straight because that compromises everything you know compromises in particular our brain and our ability to concentrate and and physically it's um we were just never designed to sit for as long as we sit